Welcome back, everybody. It's time <laughs> to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? Time just flies on this show. I know. Value. We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. All right, let's bring in Dr. Lori. I, I think you had a nice Thanksgiving and, and you enjoyed the game, huh, over the weekend? My team won the big game. <laughs> the big game, the thing, the football thing. Big yes. football thing, Heather. <laughs> yes, Ohio State, Michigan, big rivalry. My alma mater is Michigan. And uh, so, and in, and in honor of Teddy, of course, our producer too, uh, he also went to Michigan. So I figured I'd bring out the gear. Love yeah. it. You're showing Tons your pride. And Teddy's in our ear. He's happy about it too. <laughs> All right, copper <laughs> earrings are the first item here. So these are the wings that we showed just a, a little bit ago, and they were sent in by Ellen. Tell us about these. Yeah, these are really great. I really like these. These particular earrings are, in fact, copper there's a pair it's important to have a pair of earrings because sometimes you guys only send me one but a lot of people wear singles so it's a pair they're wings with red crystals circa 1970s what do you think they're worth i well, well copper mm. i feel like is very valuable right now but i feel like it's you wouldn't be trading these in at a like how much yeah you couldn't really get yeah you wouldn't melt them down you're mm. getting them for the earrings themselves that's exactly right. And remember, metallics were very popular in the 1970s. We're 50 years from the 1970s, so you're seeing a revival of metallics now. I see. Okay. Oh. And anytime there's an anniversary, that can always change the value of something from there that. There we go. There we okay. go. Okay. 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 I don't right. know. This may still be a little high, but I said $85. I went higher than that. I went bold and big. $120. Heather Abraham, $85 on the nose. Oh, I know go, my Heather. costume jewelry. Vases, <laughs> not so much. Costume jewelry, sign me up. All right, next up go. we have a decanter. This decanter is really quite nice. It's cranberry glass. It uh, has a clear glass stopper. It's from the mid 1900s. So you're looking at 1950s, 1960s. I think it's in beautiful condition. And Kevin sent it in. Does it have an etching on the front or is that just a reflection? It looks like it, there's an etching on the front. It looks like it is etched. Um, some of these are very, very delicately etched and some of these are really, really strongly almost carved glass. But this one is delicately etched. Hmm. All right, was it made hmm. by like a glass maker that would make it more valuable? I think it was made in West Virginia. Okay. West Virginia, Mount West Virginia. Virginia. Heather's singing again. All right, I, I don't know. Uh oh. I, I don't know if this is right. I just took a guess. I, I don't think this is right. Uh, okay, all right. I, I took a guess too. I said fifty dollars. I went a little higher, sixty-five. One hundred and fifty dollars is what wow. it's worth. Wow. Really? So what made it so valuable? People collect barware in general. Got it. Um, and also what we see is we see decanters because a lot of people like to decant different things in different decanters. So you see people collecting decanters just as a rule by themselves, sort of like people collect cookie jars. Right. Decanters are hot. Good right. to know. And last up, yep. I, and I hope I'm saying this right, a soleograph sent in by Vicky. It's an oleograph. Oh, um, okay. Oleograph, no S. Yeah. So I oftentimes at my events will use the joke, you know, did your mother tell you to pass the oleo or the fake margarine? This is an oleograph. It's a fake painting. Oh, okay. fake painting. It's a oleo, fake painting. That's why it's called an oleograph. It's oleograph because basically what it is, is it, it is printed onto a canvas to look like a painting. And then they use Dacmar varnish, which is like a clear nail polish. So they put a clear coat over it to simulate brush strokes. That's what this is. It actually is based on a painting by an artist named Dunning. And this particular piece is a still life. It's from about 1965 to about 1975. Um, they're out there all over the place. They were first introduced in the late 19th century. So for something like this, for an oleograph, even does the age help at all for something like this? Um, age is not age is not generally a value indicator. You're always looking for quality. Just because something old doesn't mean it's valuable, right? But in fact. Um, what you see with oleographs is as good as the print is. If the print is very good, people tend to have a little bit more value. Remember, you're also guessing the price with the frame. Mm -hmm. The frame is where most of the value is. And yeah. how about that frame? What do you want to tell us about that frame? Is it made of oak? Yeah, the frame, the frame is a typical period frame. So when I say it's a typical period frame, that basically means it's from the same time period, it's in good condition, and it's doing its job, which is protecting the canvas. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. I can't okay. decide. 
All right, I, I'm going to say $75. I, I said $55. It's worth $50. Wow, David oh. with the win. Wow. All right, Dr. Lloyd, before we let you go, real or artificial tree? Weigh in on our What You Think Wednesday question. Oh, I'm sorry, artificial tree, in the box, out of the box. I do not have time to be watering things. I kill plants. I, <laughs> I burn understand. stuff and I kill plants. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Dr. Lloyd. Artificial for me. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.